Warning, the information or views displayed on this podcast may not be the same as any one individual listener's views. If you strongly disagree, you have the freedom to simply turn it off or get your own podcast to voice your own views or information if this podcast does not fulfill your idea of what should be talked about. You're listening to Fringianity. Hello and welcome to Fringianity Podcast. On this episode, I'm going to be breaking down um, some cartoon or animation stuff that really has a lot of uh, satanic elements to it. Uh, It's just going to be multiple different shows, cartoons, Disney cartoons, um, different shows that are on, stuff that's Cartoon Network type of stuff. Touch, touching on lightly on uh, Nickelodeon stuff. I won't be able to cover every single cartoon and every single thing that has satanic satanic imagery in it that's ever been made because there is a great deal of it and I don't know everything and I don't know all of the things that have it in it, but I'm just going to cover the things that I have found and in recent times the things that I remember and I know of that I found out about. The reason why I'm started, I decided to do this episode is because recently I seen a commercial for a new Disney cartoon series called The Owl House. And I thought it was very strange when I actually watched this, com- cart- this commercial for this cartoon and I was stunned to find that it's, it's about a young little girl who wants to be... She looks up to the idea of magic and she wants to be the apprentice to a witch or a wizard type of thing. And it's basically like Harry Potter but in hell. And this girl goes to some, teleports to some uh, uh, terrible place called the Boiling Isles and it's, it's all this type of stuff. It's basically hell. But I'm not going to get into that all right now. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to play a little bit of scripture first, and then I'll get back to you after the scripture. Matthew 18. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receiveth me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life halt or maimed, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye, rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. How think ye, if a man have a hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep, than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven, that one 
of these little ones should perish. Okay, so, yeah, I chose that scripture, obviously, because of the little child in it, you know, talking about children, for the most part, here. Um, some of these cartoons that I'm breaking down or talking about don't necessarily, are not made specifically for children, because some Adult Swim uh, cartoons are made for adults who really like a lot of perverted, uh, satanic, twisted things which is kind of messed up, but it's on a cartoon network, uh, a children's cartoon network. It's just at night. It's like watching a, a cartoon network that's devoted to kids, but at night they play, um, they play uh, pornography. You know, that, that's, how, that's how childish and stupid it, the idea of Cartoon Network having an adult side on the same network. Why not just have a secondary network or an app that has the adult side only and not the kid side, you know? I mean, you don't you don't tune into ABC or any of these other channels and have it be, you know, at one time of the, or for most of the day, it's basically for everyone. And then all of a sudden you get to at night, you know, you could start to break things down. You could start, you know, saying wicked things and talking about Satan, worshiping the devil, you know, and, you know, strange things like that. You know, it's aiming more toward the adult, supposedly. And when was the last, last time I, I checked, um, when, when is it adult-like to have satanic things? How, what kind of an adult needs perversions, like perverted jokes, sexual stuff, all that stuff? That's not adult-like. That's childish. And that's worse than a child. Because a child at least is innocent. So that just shows that these adults that they're aiming this at are not adults at all. They're childish, uh, evil, well basically antichrists if you really want to be straightforward with it. That's basically what it is. And I, and I always say, I say the same thing whenever I like watch com comedies, you know, a comedian or something. It always makes me mad that all these comedians nowadays, I can't even watch them because I'm just like, the adult, they say it's adult humor. And whenever they say adult humor or adult, you know, content, what they really mean is childish adults who like perverted things and twisted things and dirty talk and nudity and pornography. That's what they really mean. And whenever these comedians come out, that's they're basically their content is X-rated because they always have to have disgusting sexual stuff in it. But this is not about the comedy. Maybe I'll break that down another time. This is about uh, cartoons. Not specifically just kids' cartoons, but a cartoons in general that are around in the year 2020, you know? Okay, so the, the first thing I wanted to mention is Disney. Everybody knows, well at least most people should know, that Disney has had, um, let's just say, artists that have kind of dirty minds and had dirty things in some of the artwork for like the Lion King, I think Aladdin, um uh what was that underwater um the underwater one, the little mermaid or whatever have have had little pornography type things in the artwork and images and stuff. And even the Disney like Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse stuff, there's been I'm not going to talk about the thing that I that is in it. You'll have to look it up yourself. But you know what I mean. I'm just saying that there's sexual in you, sexual type of themes and imagery in some of these pictures. If you really look closely or whatever, if you want to look closely, even. I just, and then the Disney logo. People say you know Walt Disney or whatever, and it's six six six. You could find in the Disney actual logo. It's whatever. That's what it is. Whatever you can think what you want, but. So I'm already at the Disney thing. I'm already at the level of, well, some people there that work there. And, of course, they have had, you know, pedophiles arrested at 
that worked for them. That doesn't mean everybody that works for Disney is a pedophile now. That doesn't mean every single cartoon that comes out of Disney is about um, Satan or pedophilia or Freemasonry. But it seems that, you know, wherever kids are, pedophiles like to go. So that's probably what that's all about, to be realistic. So anyway, my point here is is the uh, Disney is is a big corporate industry and it's not uh good necessarily completely. It's not all wholesome family stuff. So that being said now, The Owl House, like I talked about before, is a cartoon that um I think is it's pushing witchcraft, Satanism, um, basically sending children to hell type of stuff. Um, Freemasonry because of the owl and all that stuff. And I'm not going to break that stuff down yet. First, I'm going to play the commercial. So this is the trailer for the Owl House. So listen how happy and, and joyful and, you know, how, e how easygoing it is. And listen to at the very end when they talk about, at the very, very end... That um, they basically say, uh, it's you know, it's they basically point out how it's a bad thing, but you know, with a different perspective, it feels just like home, you know. So just listen for that at the end because that's just it's basically telling the kids and whoever's watching this that well, you got to have a different perspective, you can't just look at everything as all bad. Sometimes bad things can be used as good, you know, that's basically what they're telling you. So just listen to this. Hi there, I'm Luz Noceda. So this one day, I found a portal and ended up someplace I could have never imagined. Okay, well, I totally have imagined it. But this is even better. This is the Boiling Isles. And it's amazing. The kind of place you just want to wake up every day and say, Good morning, terrifying fantasy world. Good morning. Such friendly neighbors. And this is the Owl House, the best place on the Isles. Hoot hoot. That's Hootie. Hoot hoot. He's always hanging around. Oh, jeez. The Owl House is where I live with... The King of Demons. Look at that cutie pie. I am not your cutie pie. Yes, you are. I know. And Ida the Owl Lady. The most powerful witch on the Boiling Isles. Wait, I better let her say it. The most powerful witch on the Boiling Isles. She's fierce. She's fearless. Oh, no. Please stop. And someday, I'm going to be just like her. Want to see more of the Isles? Just a short staff ride away is the town of Bonesboro. Is there anything better than people watching in the demon realm? The marketplace has the best stuff in town. What has four hooves and wants to buy a potion? My eyes are down here. <laughs> There's the library. <laughs> and Hexide, the most amazing magic school ever. <laughs> Ta-da! Look, I even got an A+. Plus. So, that's the Isles. I know sometimes it can seem a little different. It's very stinky. And gross. But if you look at it from a different perspective, it looks just like home. The Owl House premieres Friday, January 10th on Disney Channel. Okay, so, yeah, um, if you look at it from a dis different perspective, it feels just like home. So, I guess, if you look at hell from a different, perspec per different perspective, it feels just like home, you know? You know, it's and it even talks about you know watching people in in the boiling aisles, which is basically hell. She she calls it in the demon realm, but uh, where do the demons live in hell? Right? Isn't that what supposedly where they're living? So she's in hell, the boiling aisles, which is you know obvious boiling. You know. So, that's very interesting. Her name is Lut Luz. I don't know the name. I, I don't know. There's some, There might be some kind of a thing there with the name of this main character girl. I don't know what that Luz, like Luz. I don't know. I, I don't see, I don't Lucifer. I, I don't know. Anyway, her name is L-U-Z. That's, that's her first name anyway. So, anyway... So basically, she seeks magical knowledge, or wizardry, or witchcraft, basically. She um, basically looks up to that stuff. You know, she, can't, she couldn't be, like, seeking knowledge of the Bible. She couldn't be seeking knowledge of Islam. She couldn't be seeking knowledge of Buddha. 
And I'm not saying those are, you know, viable options. I'm just saying that how ironic that they go straight to Satan, you know, straight to the devil, you know. So that's <laughs> really weird. So, and, and uh, she actually does say in there that she wants, she, that you actually see like a name, uh, like a name tag that she writes out or whatever. And it says, witch apprentice, you know. And it's like she wants to be apprentice of a witch. It's insane. She's just so... She's in the fan club of witches and stuff like that. And of course, I'm sure that they would say that, Well, there are good witches, you know. Oh, my God. You know, the Bible clearly says that witchcraft and wizardry, all that stuff is forbidden. So, I don't understand how any of, the, any of it can be good. So, anyway... And then, of course, then breaking down the other part, you know, the owl house and the actual house that she lives in, in the Boiling Isles in hell. Uh, the house is actually, has a giant window at the top, like the, like a giant eye. And it's, you know, like a, like, you know, the roof is like a pyramid and then the eye is right there, you know, it's uh, how ironic. And, um, of course... The, the the door has a giant owl in the door that like the greeting like the owl greets people or whatever so there there's a there, once again and that's like the people a lot of some people say that moloch is it, owl the owl stands for moloch or whatever i don't know in, in this regard it's basically send, ch sacrificing your child to um to satan in a sense because you're giving your children over to this cartoon to be brainwashed by Satan, you know. So it's it. I guess the Moloch thing could be about right because you are sacrificing your child's brain to Satan. Um. Anyway, so the yeah, like, like I said, the house has an owl, has an owl freaking thing on the door, and it's kind of messed up. It's just greeting people. Of course, all of this stuff is played off as funny, humorous, like cartoony. You know, it's fun. It's fun. You know, worship, worshiping Satan, it's fun. You know, that type of thing. And this is a Disney show. This is a cartoon for Disney. You know? So anyway, uh, so there's like a, the sidekick that this girl has is a demon. Straight up, it's a demon, okay? It has like a skull head, whatever, little horns broken off. But it's a little short thing, so it's supposed to be cute. You know, it's the cutest little demon ever. You know, and it's just this black thing with a white skull, whatever. And it's just like, a, it's supposed to be like a cute little animal type of thing. And, you know, it's not going to be like trying to kill anybody or do any kind of horrible thing. Because, you know, that would be bad for business when you're trying to indoctrinate kids into worshipping Satan. So, anyway, and the main witch that she is basically friends with or becomes friends with or whatever this main character, this teenage girl or this young girl becomes with is called Ida, the owl lady. And, of course, she is a witch. And she, of course, says that she's the most powerful witch in the aisles in, the, in this cartoon commercial, even. They say that. Um... And then she gets in later and she, she breaks down basically the school that she goes to. A school in witchcraft, basically. And then right in the commercial, you know, she gets an A+. plus. Well, you know, most schools, they would give you an A+, plus on your paper or I don't know if they do it on apps. I don't know how they give they grade you, whatever. You get the A+, plus, you know, they write it with a red, you know, marker or at least they did back in my day because i'm apparently 200 years old even though i'm not that old but <laughs> back in the 80s you know that, that's what they did so anyway red marker and guess where they put it oh they put it right in between her eyes over her third eye so they put an a plus marker on her head right where the uh, third eye should be you know it's just a little weird and you know it's like that a start stands for anarchy or you know something evil you know Satan, you know, in some way. So I just thought that was a little uh, peculiar, you know, that, that they had to do that. Anyway, and then, um, so, the, and then they, uh, like I said, at the end of the, the whole trailer, they promote, you know, how, oh, they make a point 
they, they make a point to point out how bad it is, but then they, they look at it from a different point of view, and it, it's just like home, you know? It's, it's so, it's such a, a horrible thing if you really think about it. In if you have a spirit of you know Christ in you, of, of any, if you have this, the the spirit of the Lord in you at any in any way, any discernment, you watch this and you're like, what are you kidding me? But you know nobody has discernment anymore. Churches are falling away left and right, falling and falling and falling. They're falling for anything that anything that the world presents. Everything that's everything is progressive, being pushed, 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 and it, all the churches are going. Okay, we can swallow that. Okay, we can swallow that. Okay, we can swallow that, and they just keep swallowing and swallowing and swallowing until they're all completely corrupted by this evil, and now they're vomiting up black goo. You know that's basically what's happening. But I'm not going to get into churches right now because somebody somebody might get take offense to that because their one church might not be that way. I'm not saying all churches, I'm just saying a good chunk of them nowadays have joined the New World Order. Okay, so next Disney cartoon. This is one that's a little bit older. It's called Gravity Falls. This one has Freemason symbology or symbolic imagery in it like crazy. Um, like there's the main, the older guy that's in it has a red... Freemason hat, you know, lodge type of hat, um, and they have a lot of the um, pyramid with the eye in it all over the place. And there's just there's just so much. I, I can't. I don't know that much about this cartoon, but what I do know from the, all of the things that I've looked into about it, it's basically Freemasonry being taught to kids, and it's got all kinds of symbol symbolic things and everything. And the the main villain type of character is like this. I think it's Bill Silas, Cyrus, Cyrus, Silas, or something. Anyway, and he's a, a he's a basically the pyramid with the all-seeing eye on it, with arms and legs. He is literally the symbol of the of on the back of your dollar bill, walking around. Anyway, and he possesses things, it seems like, and he's got, you know, whatever he gets into your mind and all this stuff. And it's just messed up. And once again, this is Disney promoting, you know, this Freemasonry agenda, you know, Luciferian agenda. And that's just, that's just what I'm, just that's just what I'm picking up right off the, the top of my head just when I'm looking at this stuff. So, like I said, Gravity Falls is pretty amazing how how if if parents you know most people would say that they're christians i know a lot of people they're cultural i'll say cultural christians in other words they'll say they're christian and then they act exactly like the rest of the world and they do everything that the rest of the world does they go out and get drunk every weekend but yet they're in church on sunday you know oh they go to church on christmas but they're drunk on new year's you know what I'm saying? It, 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 cultural Christianity. It's fake Christianity. It's not realistic. So anyway, um, a lot of those people would say that they're Christian. And I'd say that's a good chunk of the USA. Uh, and and the problem is, is those people's kids are probably watching this stuff. And parents will just give them an iPad. Oh, go and you go watch your whatever. Just go do this, do go that. And I, I, I've actually know this because I've known people who have kids that do that. And I know um, people that that let their kids go just watch whatever they want on YouTube. And I can't believe that, but they do. And I've known people who were Christians, or whatever, that let their kids go watch horror. Like like Saw, like the movie Saw, you know, the most gruesome, horrible, torture crap that I've ever seen. And it's like, well, it's not real. And plus, we should, my kids should be able to discern what's good and evil, you know, so that they're not going to enact it. You know, God's got all power. He's all, he, he's got power over the whole everything. That includes movies. He's, and I'm like, I'm, okay, I understand. I like movies too. But I'm not going to watch somebody's head get, get exploded on a TV show or a movie. That's disgusting to me and that's hard for me to take. The spirit of the Antichrist is in that. 
so that's not right. But getting back to cartoons, most of what I was saying was this parent. A lot of these parent parents just let their kids watch anything, and they're the those parents of these cultural Christians. Their kids are the ones being indoctrinated by this Freemasonry Disney crap, and this like the Owl House and um, Gravity Falls type stuff. And I'm sure there's more. I just those are the the two I picked up on. Okay. So next I'll go to Cartoon Network because that's a big one. And on Cartoon Network, there's been, you know, a couple things. Like Powerpuff Girls had some satanic imagery, like people, like, holding hands and, like, kind of dancing around a giant star in a circle, you know. And that's Powerpuff Girls. That was back in the day. But that was that was regular cartoons. That wasn't Adult Swim yet, you know. But then you get into Adult Swim. Adult Swim is where supposedly it's only for adults and it comes on later at night. Supposedly when all the kids have gone to bed. You know? Because kids never stay up. They never like... And nowadays every kid's got a screen in front of them so that they don't just keep the iPad in their bedroom or, and then go what? You know, put in headphones and watch cartoons when they're laying in bed at 1 o'clock in the morning. No, they wouldn't do that. You know? So anyway, then there's this this cartoon that I've I can't believe is it's called Mr. Pickles. Now this is a, a amazing uh, level of Satanism. This is your definitely adult Satanism. Okay, the the begin the end the beginning of the show. It literally has a, it's a it's a basically a dog. Go figure, it's a dog. Why would they choose a dog? I know why. Because if you spell dog backward, it's God. That's why they would choose the main character to be a dog. Because they're literally op- doing the opposite of God. And the reason why they're going the opposite of God is because the, the, the symbol at the beginning is an upside down star with the dog's head in the middle. And it says 666, If in, in case you didn't think this was satanic enough already... It says 666 at the top, and right underneath, at the lower side, it says, good boy. Like, you know, good boy dog. Like, the dog is a good boy, you know. So, anyway, but this cartoon has this dog is literally, like, there's murders, there's mass murder, there's guts, there's blood everywhere. There's the pits of hell, literally, you get to see the pits of hell, you see, um, Creatures, I, I mean, a woman, like a goat's head on a woman's body. Uh, and this is a cartoon. Then there's black beings, whatever, that worship him. He sits in this bone throne with uh, human feet cut off on the bottom. And he's literally in the center of a, a circle with a star in it, the star of Satan in it. And he's literally in this, in, this, in blood, of course, you know. And there's candles on each end or whatever. All the way around the circle, there's candles. There's gore. There's in his, like, throne. There's, like, dead faces, like, evil faces, like, alive but dead, you know, like, zombie-looking. Um, this dog is sitting on this throne. You know, he's got... He looks all nice. He looks like a happy dog, you know, normal happy dog. But, yeah, he's got sa- the, the star upside down, the sat- satanic symbol star everywhere, satanic, 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 bones everywhere, and I can't even, it's just over the top Satan, 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 all the way through, just beating in the head with Satan. Anyway, there's people worshipping him, he's in hell, there's a lake of uh, blood, uh, it's just unbelievable, like, unbelievable. And this is Mr. Pickles. You know, it's it sounds like a you know, happy time or whatever. I mean, and I'm looking at a couple of these pictures for the from this show right now, and I mean, literally, there's like a naked, there's like a pole dancer in the background with her legs cut off so that you can see bloody stumps, and she has to hold on to the pole. And this is in the far background, you know, and it looks and, then I, and there's a bunch of arms cut off holding like uh, cell phones in hand in their hands. It looks like there's people with robed beings in the background with black robes um the dog's just sitting on the chair eating a pickle isn't that cute whatever and then you know they eat, like i said there's 
there's a female with a, like a woman's body wearing a bikini and you could see her nipples and whatever and, and through the bikini or whatever and you could see and on here and he, he's got the goat's head but it looks like it's mounted onto where the head was cut off from the human it's just there is so much and then like i said there's black this black being worshiping him uh looks like there's like a gas can behind him like he's like the people are gonna get set on fire or something anyway i'm just breaking down some of the images i'm seeing it's just insane and i mean it's so over the top it's just gruesomely bad like really 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 bad anyway and a lot of this stuff i put into the cover art for this episode so you're going to see a lot of this stuff on the cover. I'm sorry to have to put such evil stuff on there, but I'm showing, I'm exposing, I'm literally exposing the devil in cartoons. I mean, that's literally what I'm doing here. So there's another image. This is a big one that I can't believe. And it's literally like a, it's like in a hospital or something. And there's like patients sitting in beds strapped in. And you see one bed where there, like the dog came in and just like blew up a person's guts like everywhere splattered on the wall. And then it's like a satanic star in a circle. And then it's like a hand on each little end of the star. You know, it's like pieces, it's human just guts and just like dismemberment. And of course at the top, what does it say? Oh, it says 666. And it has the dog it's smiling or whatever. It's like happy dog, you know, with his tongue hanging out. And it looks like a totally normal cartoon dog. And it's like, it's a joke. Everything, it's just death is a joke. That's basically what they're going for here. Death is a joke. Hell is a joke. It's all a joke. We're laughing. We're laughing, you know, it's funny. So anyway, these are just some of the things... This is on, like I said, on Adult Swim for Cartoon Network. Yeah, so this is what the adults want to see. This is adult. This is very, you know, classy stuff for adults. Adults are very mature, you know. So this is the type of stuff that mature adults want to look at, you know. Mature adults like pornography. Mature adults like to um, see um, disgusting jokes that are, you know, sexual or about people dying. You know, just... You know, child, you know, molestations, child, whatever. It just, it's a joke. That's, the, that's what they're saying. Mature adults like that. This is not for kids. This is higher quality, you know. I mean, this is a, this is horrifying. Whatever deprived mind is calling themselves an adult that likes this is, I don't know why they wouldn't be going to hell. But that's basically Mr. Pickles uh, summed up. And I'm sure there's a lot more Cartoon Network, Adult Swim stuff out there. And I think I've covered some of this stuff in the past too, but I'm, I'm not sure what I covered in the past, so I picked some different stuff that I'm pretty sure I didn't cover before. And I mean... There's just so many symbols in these shows, like I said, like the, like going back to the Disney stuff, you know, that that um, Bill Silent, whatever, that the pyramid with the eye in it with a bow tie and it has a top hat on. I mean, they have t-shirts out there or whatever that says, I got my eye on you, you know, and then there's a, other like artwork that you could buy that has his symbol, him in, a, in like a circle, you know, almost a magic type circle, and then... And he basically says, let's make a deal. In other words, like Satan, let's make a deal. And that's that's the Disney thing, you know. But getting to the, moving to the next, uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is, so the, the, basically the Cartoon Network thing, I, I'm done with that. I, I pretty much talked about everything on the Cartoon Network stuff. And now I'm going to go to Nick, Nickelodeon. I think Dora the Explorer was on there. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, Dora the Explorer has some <clears throat> has some imagery on there that's Freemason type of stuff too. 
like she, at one point her and her monkey hold up the um the pyramid symbol on top on their head you know and so that's giving away you know some of the new world order type of illuminati type crap I don't like to say Illuminati because there's so much baggage attached to that that most people just roll their eyes when they hear the name anyway. So I just say secret societies, Freemasonry. We know Freemasonry is a real thing. You know, there's a lodge in every town pretty much, which is kind of scary if you think about it, that people have so many secrets that they have to have a lodge in every town. That's strange, huh? So anyway... That being said, th th there's just so much. Like like I said, Nickelodeon, they also have a, a one thing like in between commercials where you see the Nickelodeon symbol, whatever, of the orange goo, I guess, splatted on whatever. And then they have eyes everywhere, the eye in the pyramid. They have a giant um, lightning bolt going down, which is, isn't that Lucifer? You know, I saw Lucifer fall like lightning. You know, it's just insane. So, this is just getting overboard. These these cartoons are becoming propaganda senders, you know. And I mean, it's just some of these things like in, uh, Adventure Time. That's another one I think was on Cartoon Network. Anyway, I, I, they, and they had like a Bathomit type of sim imagery in that. They had um, all kinds of, obviously, the, the the pyramid with the eye in it, you know. But the Bathomit thing comes up quite a bit in some of these cartoons, too. It's amazing how, you know, Bathomit, you know, is, is such a prominent thing that just shows up in little things here and there, and the cartoons, and, the, and just drawn differently, you know. It's just amazing how they can just fit that in. And, and and no one seems to notice, you know, in the 80s, people used to, um, like parents would protest. And then along, then came the satanic panic, which in code really means, uh, you Christians are crazy. There's not a satanic society out there. We're just going to call you nuts and tell you you're conspiracy crazies and then you'll go away and we'll just mock you and ridicule you and you'll shut up. And that's what happened. Because in the 80s, I knew parents, Christian parents, that were talking about how Masters of the Universe, the cartoon, was satanic, um, which I did watch and I did like that cartoon and I had those figures, to be honest, you know. And I, you know, I, I'm not saying that that's good but anyway that's the type of stuff that parents would point out you know they, they would parents would point out like how um dungeons and dragons was satanic parents you know christian parents would point all these things out and make a big stink about it they were burning uh satanic rock albums they'd be burning them and making a point that this is you know this is evil you know They'd be saying, hey, there's demons on the cover of these albums. You know, parents, Christian parents were actually standing up and saying something. But today, we have become so progressive that we're just progressing ourselves right off of a cliff. And Christians are basically just killing themselves to try to blend in with the real, with the rest of the world. And remember... You know, being like the world is basically being the enemy of God. And that's that's the point of this. You know, they're, they're, I understand wanting to go see some movies or, you know, having discernment and being a Christian and being able to spot evil when you're watching stuff. But then, at some point, you get to the, the point where you're watching a satanic cartoon and you're like, okay, that's enough. We've We've gone too far, you know? And you know they got they've had they've had satanic coloring books in schools. They've had satanic classes after school classes. I mean, we've had Bathomit march through the um, march through like uh, in government areas wherever the Ten Commandments were. I mean, we've got this is getting bad. This is something that is just going to continue to grow because Christians are not reaching people with the gospel anymore 
They're hiding inside their churches and they're keeping their mouth shut. And what they do is they basically are... They're bringing the world into the church. They're basically saying, we'll have concerts, we'll have coffee, we'll have coffee shops, we'll have we'll sell t-shirts, we'll ha have um, we'll have gold dust coming out of the vents, and it, it's going to be a magical thing that God can only do, you know. And then Christians will suddenly get gold teeth. But if God is the God who created you without gold teeth, wouldn't you think that maybe he would create you if he's going to do a miracle, wouldn't you think that he would actually give you back the teeth you're missing or heal you in some way instead of giving you gold? Oh, I know, because gold is worth something. It has value, worldly value. So if you got gold tooth from God, now suddenly you got something that's of value. Hmm... Doesn't sound like God would do that. Sounds like somebody else who likes to work with that type of stuff. Who likes to tempt you into being more worldly. The devil? Yeah. So anyway, that's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rant too much on that, but um there's also one more little thing that I wanted to discuss about cartoons here. In that this is just a brief thing I found. But they do have some Disney um, cartoons from apparently back in the, the 20s or something. Or whatever, when Adolf Hitler was in. Because it has Donald Duck looking at mine, reading Mein Kampf. Yeah. It's a big red book on the thing. It has a Nazi symbol on it. He's wearing a Nazi um, armband. And he's he's hiling Hitler in one in another image from the cartoon. Uh, he's got pictures of Hitler on the thing, and he's literally building, you know, military um, shells or whatever, and he's hiling Hitler, and he's got two pictures of Adolf Hitler on his thing. This is Donald Duck. So, it's not the first time Disney has pushed um, evil agendas. So, just think about that. <laughs> I, I was blown away when I first seen that. And I mean, it's just, you know, it's just insane. You know, it, it, just keep in mind that kids are always the target. Just, they're always the target. You know, here's a meme that I, I see every now and then. Uh, and this is basically a Ouija board. So it says, the recommended age to use a Ouija board is eight years old so you need to be 21 to drink alcohol but only eight to summon demons now that pretty much sums it up that's how messed up this world is that you're literally Ouija boards are good for kids but you can't you know you can't hold it you can't get a hold a gun unless you go in the military because they don't want you to hold a gun in America you know legally with the Constitution, because they think that you're going to kill somebody. But, you know, you can get, you can still go buy that Ouija board, though. It's not a problem. No, you could, you could do that. So, anyway, that's just some of the stuff that I wanted to break down in this episode, because it's just, they're just beating you over the head these days. There's just so much happening. I guess the final point I would have is just keep your kids away from cartoons. Don't give your kids iPads to just do whatever they want. And be vigilant and watching what they're watching. Know what your kids know. Don't let them just be swallowed up by the devil. So let no one deceive you and test every spirit. And that's pretty much all I have for this show. So thank you for listening. If you like this show, please share it with your friends promote it as much as possible before the internet censors us and takes down all of our content. Also check out the Fringianity Podcast Facebook group and page. New shows will be posted there as well as show images. So check that out too. That's all for this show. So thank you very much for listening and God bless.